in this video, we're going to take a look at a problem, um, an indefinite integral, which we do have a formula for. So if you would like to just memorize the formula to be able to do this type of problem, obviously we can do that. This is 2 to the x, so a to the u, where u is some function of x. All right, conditions on our a, a has to be a constant, which it is, the base right there. a has to be greater than 0, a cannot be equal to 1, in which case we have it. All right, which then, if you have the formula memorized, then we just know that this is going to be a uh, 2 to the x all over natural log of 2 and then plus c. All right, so memorizing that formula, yes, does get you this uh, type of integral quicker. All right, however, if you have to justify this, all right, there is a way to do it. You're going to go back. You're going to use some of your logs. Um, some of the rules and things from that. You're going to manipulate this a lot so that you can actually do a u substitution and generate this answer that we get from this formula. Okay, so the first thing here that I want to do is I do want to rewrite this into a different form. Okay, so um, I have this over here as a review of logs and I use two specifically because there's two in our problem here. When you have a base raised to a log and the base on the log matches the base of the entire expression, then the answer is whatever you're taking the log of there. So my base of this whole entire expression is e, natural log has a base of e, so then that means this answer is just 2. All right, that's something you would have to recall to be able to do this from your logs and log properties. Okay, so which means then I can rewrite this, I can substitute 2, this e raised to the natural log of 2. So e raised to the natural log 2, and then that entire thing, because I'm just replacing the 2, is raised to the x dx. Okay, now we know that a power raised to a power, all we have to do is multiply. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm just going to rewrite this so that I've got an e raised to the natural log of 2, and then times x. All right, whether or not you put the dot there is totally um, optional. Okay, now I've got an e raised to an exponent, okay? So generally at this point we can use a u substitution and let our u be whatever is raised to the exponent there. So I'm going to let my u be the natural log of 2x. All right, natural log of 2 is just a constant, so I have a constant in front of an x, so this is going to be real easy to take the derivative of. du is just going to be the natural log of 2 and then dx. Okay, going ahead and solving all the way down for that dx, we'll have a du over natural log of 2 is equal to dx. Okay, now that we've got our u ready for our u substitution here, I can come back up to my original integral. I can start substituting. So e, that's going to be replaced with our u. We're going to replace dx with what it equals, so I'll have a du over a natural log of a 2. Okay, at this point I want my integral to be all in terms of u, so this constant right here I'm going to pull out in front, so a 1 over natural log of 2, I'm going to pull out in front, so 1 over natural log of 2, we'll pull that out in front, then I'm just going to have the integral of e to the u du, which is what I wanted with my u substitution. Now I'm totally down to um, an integral I can integrate, when we integrate e to the u, we get e to the u, so this integrates as 1 over natural log of 2 times e to the u, and then of course our plus c on the end. Now I'm going to replace u with what we originally said it equals, so I'm going to have a 1 over natural log of 2, replace that e there, raised to the natural log of 2 times x. Okay, now I can undo what I did up here, I had a power raised to a power all right, and I just multiplied them because power raised to a power you multiply. All right, I'm going to undo that right here and turn this back into a power. Okay, so then I'm going to have 1 over natural log of a 2. All right, we'll have the e raised to the natural log of 2 and then raised to the x power. So I'm just undoing that law of exponent. All right, now when we get to there, we know that e natural log of 2 is equal to 2, so I can just do a substitution here from our log properties, all right, and at the same time, take this expression and multiply it up there on top so that I just have one nice little rational expression here, so I'll have a 2 to the x all over natural log of 2, 
and then plus C. All right, so there are actually the algebra steps needed, all right, to get this formula. But like I said, if you memorize the formula, all right, every time you see one of these, then they're pretty straightforward, okay, because that's what we said we would have had. We would have had a 2 to the x all over natural log of 2, to the x natural log of 2. So um, definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to share with your friends so that they can benefit too, and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.